Hi, my name's Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, so we were looking again at the inside of the clamshell, and last night I was thinking that these holes here could provide a real opportunity. Now, you can see that there's this mottled pattern where there seems to be a lot more affected aluminium, and my hypothesis is this is where exotic vacuum objects may be escaping and uh, impacting the aluminium. And you can see these holes here that are for, um, you know, gaseous exchange uh, during experiments. And uh, this presents an opportunity where we can put our X-rays, um, you know, on the outside down behind here. Uh, and that would give us a, a direct line uh, uh, to the X-ray uh, itself, other than the plastic. But there would be no aluminium in the way. And likewise, we could put a web camera uh, masked off as we looked uh, for when we were using um, uh, the webcam with uh, Cosmic Ray Finder to look for strange radiation during analysis of the uh, echo fuel in 2017 we could apply that there i would do that probably late in the experiment cycle because um the the strange radiation coming out of the echo fuel did damage a few of the uh, uh ccd elements on the um uh, webcam and i haven't got a, a lot of money to be buying lots of webcams uh but anyway the idea of having this on the outside of the reactor um, I think is a nice one. Now um, I've had a look more around here, not that much. Um, uh, I've got some other samples to show you but um, what I was thinking is um, maybe as in with the uh, Amasa plates, uh, if an Evo was able to uh, get out of um, through the little gap here and bounce around in the little gap here and then explode somewhere in this area uh, we might see some interesting features and I've just started looking at this and I chose this area over here where there's this uh, marked area uh, on the inside as an area where you know a lot of evos might be um, uh, being emitted and uh, and I'm looking in the flat area which uh, mates to the other flat area of the two sides of the clam that uh, form the main part of the resonant chamber of the reactor. So I'll just show you what I've uh, found there because uh, I think it's quite interesting. So here it is and this is with a little bit uh, or quite a lot of the polarizing filter on and this is the inside of the reactor wall and these are the CNC milling lines that you saw before on the inside and here's our EVO 2 as I'm calling it and uh, it's got some material that's been completely removed from here and then it has this glassy blob here and there's a little bit of a surround going on where it appears some material has been affected. If we go to a view uh, which is showing a bit of spe pe specular uh, you can see that it's uh, much more pronounced in its sort of glassiness and difference to the surrounding area. So I'm going to close those down and show you a close-up here and uh, we've got uh, two shots here and I'll try and do a split screen uh, and there we have it. So um, you can see here uh, that it has uh, these darker areas here one two three four five six I don't know is that seven I don't know it seems to be slightly offset um, if it did come from the inside of the reactor, this is the inside here, uh, it would have come through here and it, uh, as a maybe a very, very small dark Evo and it got disrupted at this point. There is a center spot and there are multiple spots around the outside. And this actually looks quite similar to uh, one of the structures or a couple of structures on the Lion reactor. But what you can see here uh, is that it's actually got uh, this bit that sticks out and 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 so on. So is it is it going around this way or is it going around that way? I don't know, but there does seem to be some sort of vorticity going on. So uh, it's absolutely beautiful um, and I have it in a live view, but uh, let's let's do some measurement here. So Actually, th this shot here, uh, which has got a little bit more specular, you can really see the difference between the aluminium and whatever material this is made from. And you can also see the kind of like uh, <laughs> like sweeping sections. This, this bit has been swept out. This bit is removed. 
uh, there's a little bit that sticks out here and so on. So it looks like there's some vorticity going around this way and this view uh, gives you a better idea um, of uh, the sort of multipolar nature of it or whether it's dichotron instabilities or whatever. But let's go ahead and uh, measure this. I guess uh, probably either of the these two will do. Um, so let's do a uh, a center spot. I'm going to do a diameter here because it's just going to be easier. See what this is. So this is uh, it's around about 400 micron. So if I uh, line that up, um, yeah, it's difficult to see there. There you go. So that's 206 micron there. But actually it's not quite representative because we're looking at the whole hole. So um, if you take it from the center there and just bring that down a little, it's kind of a bit, I'd say that's roughly five, 400 uh, micron uh, diameter approximately there. So that's that. And we do have, I think, uh, I can kill that or can I kill that? Um, yeah, if we turn on the live view, I think I've got it there still. There we go. It's a little bit out of focus. Let's see if I can get it in focus there. There we go. There it is. Uh, I think it's, a, it's another thing of beauty. <laughs> um, yeah, so whatever's going on, uh, you can see it kind of got some sweeping in here and some sweeping in here, but this is actually not really affected the aluminium so much, um, aluminium for you guys in America, but it's actually removed it from here. So the suggestion is that whatever this is made from, either it's um, taken aluminium and made some of this a denser element, uh, so maybe uh, silicon um, or a combination of elements that are denser than aluminium, or that some of it has become a gas and leaked out uh, through the the rest of the um, uh, gap in the reactor. But the, the interesting thing is here, uh, on, on this, if this is sweeping around here, there seems to be this tail. And uh, it has some other effect going on here, which you only see when you are looking uh, with the... Uh, polarizing on so much you can see actually you can see it here around here um, but there we go this is our Evo 2 and I'm gonna just uh, fiddle around with the lights so you can see it different uh, lights on uh, we can go here we can turn it on over here and over here so this might be one to look at with the Narugu lens um, on my phone and I'll, I'll maybe do that because you get a different um, understanding of the shape. It has a ring light um, which tends to highlight things that are slightly spherical in nature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in one the look we'll, we'll have maybe this one okay and then I'm going to change the uh, polarization so I'm make, giving it more polarization here you can see you get a very different look so under this polarization you can start to see the spots around the outside uh, and this kind of center area maybe I need to dial down the brightness to accentuate that Maybe you can see that there better. And maybe you can play with the focus. Mm. A bit more light, I think. There we go. It's rather nice, isn't it? So yeah, you can see how this changes when we apply different 
polarization to it. There. So with with this specular view, you don't easy, quite so easily get to see the the points around it, but you can you can see the kind of like um, vortice uh, these bits that stick out here and around here and where it's been cut away here. Um, but when you change the polarization like more on, it loses the specular thing, and then you can start start to see some of the substructure. Like here. What a thing of beauty. Look at that. Such, such a great shot. You can't really see a lot going on, you see. It's quite nice. So, that is Evo 2 for you. And I, like I say, I might take a look at this with the Narugu lens and see what that does for us. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.